Hi, how are you? Today on May the 29, 2018, with the summary of the Solar Negotiations Bulletin, we will be talking about the exchange rate markets and the impact on the Mexican peso, which depreciated today, given more political instances in the European Union rather than properly endogenous issues in Mexico. Well, to begin with, uh, we have Italy politics, where we already talked about yesterday about this. Um, the elections resulted in two parties not getting agreed on how to make a coalition government. So this will imply the requirement to have a new election in, in the fall of this year. But the problem right now is that the expectations of this new election will bring a de facto uh, referendum, a referendum that will imply uh, probably the, the, the exit of Italy of the, of the European Union. This will not occur necessarily in, in the fall, but the new government will probably be one uh, with this uh, extremist approach to, to make us, as in England, the, the country Italy to exit the European Union. So that's a pressure there. Also, we have an issue regarding uh, Spain. The national audience uh, issued a review, a resolution against the party in power with Mariano Rajoy. Uh, link, linking them with corruption practices in a specific case there. Well, this will be re reviewed again by, uh, now by the Congress of Spain uh, on this Friday, June the 1st, and then we'll analyze what, we, what, what uh, implication will have this situation. But right now the issue is that the current leadership of Spain is being questioned when they have been questioned the exit of the Basque zone from Spain which is an independentist, uh, independentist movement that they are leaving right now, that the presumptuous leadership should be a good one, and now being accused of corruption practices is not the best scenario for them. So that, those two issues are pressing globally the markets down, stock markets, uh, exchange rate markets, etc. This makes markets to look for safe zones or safe assets like US dollar or US bonds. So right now, the US dollar increased its value given the Bloomberg dollar spot index on 0.33%, which is a very important increase. And it went up to the maximum value since November uh, 13, 2017. Now, uh, in terms of US indicators, today was issued the, the consumer, consumer confidence index and it was steady at 128 points, similar with what was expected, but this expectation is the one linked to increasing uh, the, or, or to keep growing the economy of the US, and this implies that in June, it's almost confirmed, third, uh, June the 13th, the Federal Reserve will increase its rate on 25 basis points. And so this, along the federal elections in Mexico, will begin pressing the Banco de Mexico to increase its rates also and bring a, a more expensive credit system in Mexico. Uh, oil resulted in a mixed position. The West Texas Intermediate went down, the Brent went up, OPEC uh, mixture went down yesterday, and the Mexican mixture was not uh, quoted today because of a, of a free day holiday in Asia. Well, basically what happens here is that Saudi Arabia and Russia got some agreements based on Saturday meeting last Saturday. This Saturday, other countries along with Saudi Arabia will meet and by the end of June, the whole OPEC and allies will meet to bring a resolution over the position to cancel the OPEC agreement and begin increasing gradually their production or to increase it fully at once or to wait for the elimination of potential sanctions against Iran, given the nuclear issues with the U.S., and Venezuela, given the political issues with the U.S. also. Also, the U.S. is increasing their production, so the uh, oil market is becoming highly volatile right now, if it's not been that way since a while. Also, Banco de Mexico, in their exchange hedges, had a demand, a demand of five times the 100 million offered, 100 million dollars, to 91 days, so it increased a little bit uh, the volatility. Also, in the average of the banking system, there was no change on the spread, and the futures uh, improved a little bit. So basically, this is the information we have right now. We have important dates for this Friday, June the 1st, with uh, NAFTA. 
given that it's the final date that the U.S. Ex uh, exposed their exemption on um, um, steel and aluminium uh, fees to Mexico and Canada, and, and, and this is supposed to be eliminated, that exemption, if NAFTA is not negotiated, negotiated by that date, the most probable result will be uh, that they will change the date to a future, uh, a near future. And also the Spain analysis on the Congress on the corruption practices of the government. So this is basically a volatile week. Uh, we expect to keep informing you on how it advances. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll keep in touch.